from FX Empire. This is Chris taking a look at dollar yen, and you can see dollar yen has um, initially fallen towards the 107 level and then bounced significantly. This was all to do with more false rumors out there. Uh, there was a rumor somebody had put out suggesting that the Chinese were going to leave a day early. They did it um, during the Australian and New Zealand session, which meant low liquidity. Uh, basically tricking traders and algos into doing what they needed to do to make a profit. And then as soon as the adults came back to the market, uh, we then started to see the uh, pair turn around. And it's pretty much been the same story since then. Now, having said that, I don't think that it's very likely the um, market will be able to break out without a U.S. China trade deal. I think the 200-day EMA above, which is pictured in black, uh, right above the recent high, is going to continue to cause major issues. And I think ultimately what that means is we are looking at a scenario where the market probably makes a run towards that level and then rolls over. Keep in mind that more of these games will be played over the next 48 hours as the Americans and the Chinese meet. There will be tweets. There will be, you know, from Americans, from Chinese, from traders trying to, to spoof the markets. Uh, so this is going to be a very volatile pair. I think in the short term, we're probably more likely to see a run higher based on either short covering or some sense of optimism. But at the end of the day, I think it's very likely that we fail um, right around the 100 850 level or so and then roll right back over into this range now if we turn around and break below the 50 percent fibonacci retracement level down here that opens up the door to 105 that would almost certainly have something to do with bad news out of the trade negotiation which quite frankly is i think the default scenario i think a lot of what we're seeing here is just simply position covering